Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our April 12th new releases. Um, kind of a busy release, but it's a really good one in my opinion. Um, just kind of like an overview because we get a lot going on right here, right now. We have our July start planners. Um, so there's no longer January start planners on the site. We just made them all July start now. Um, and then we did do a little update to the A5 insert, which I don't actually have with me right now, but we'll talk about that. Um, and then we have um, our like new planner sale that we always do whenever we launch new planners, or like we have always done it at least, um, which is buy a planner, get a kit free, a kit of your choice free, or buy a monthly plus weekly insert and get a kit free. Uh, not get a kit free, it's monthly plus weekly insert, get a kit 50% off. Sorry. Um, so not much to show you with the planner. Um, on all of the planners and inserts, literally just the dates have been updated to be July start. Um, the undated planners have not changed, um, but all the deals apply to dated or undated planners. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like show you real quick that this is a July start and kind of like what that looks like even though I feel like it's self-explanatory but it's fine um just to show you that and then I will show you our new releases which we have to go with the July start planners we have July monthly and the whole July collection so we have the weekly the decorative kit we have a pet tape um and then we have um a second new release kit this week called Hawaii and then we have a um, tropical foil release. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with the planner first. I just have it flipped open here so you can see. Like I said, there's really not much to show you here, just so you know. Um, this cover is called Magnolia Scrapbook. Um, in case you were wondering what it looks like, there you go. Um, this is a gold coil. And this is the 7x9 size. I'm only going to show you the 7x9 size today. Um, just because, like I said, all we did was update the dates. So I don't really have much to show you. And we do have a lot of variety. Um, I guess I can show you one of the older ones and kind of tell you how it's been updated. But like I said, there really isn't much to show. So open it up. Planner belongs to. Down here at the bottom, it says July 2024. That's less for you, more for us, but I mean, it works for both of us. Um, uh, the 12 boxes as usual, a lot of people put like memories or like if they post on social media, they'll put like, keep track of like their social media following, stuff like that. This didn't change obviously because this planner starts in 2024 and then 2025. So this is from July 2024 to June of 2025 so from here to here basically um, so this didn't get changed when we release our 2025 planners this side will become 2025 and this side will become 2026 well to say 2026 so no change there so as you can see here the first tab here you can't see actually the first tab here is July so as usual dot grid says July down here opens up straight to the July monthly and then we get right into the weeks of July so like I said just the start date is updated so these first six tabs are 2024 so you have July August September October November December and then these last six tabs are um, or 2025 so you have January February March April May and June um, so it's almost like we just like flip-flop the halves basically almost but this is 2025 dated so this January is now for 2025 not the 2024 like it was when it was at the beginning of the planner but other than that everything is the same all the fonts are the same um, it's just still a 2024 planner so we normally do most of our updates at the end of the year like when we launch the January start planners so yeah so this one starts in Jan July 
Um, and like I said, you can do the buy a planner, get a kit free um, situation. Um, make sure you're adding both of those to your cart. Um, some people like buy the planner and then write the kit that they want for free in the notes, which I mean, it's fine, but sometimes the note doesn't go through um, or like maybe the kit name is like not correct. So then we have to like figure out what you mean, stuff like that. So it's just easier for you to do it that way so that we have it kind of like in our system that that's the kit that you're supposed to receive. Anyway, so I hope that that helps. Um, yeah, so the undated planners we also still have available. So if you want to start in something like now, like April, um, then I would get an undated planner because we don't have an April planner. But um, And then just to kind of like show you, this one is a B6 rings, but this one is the January start. So this is what I'm talking about where like here it used to be January start, like I said, self-explanatory, but then when you go back here and you get to July, so this, if you buy like the B6 rings, this will now be the beginning of the planner, like these first six months, and then the second six months will go through January of 2025 through um, June of 2025, so just a note there. Um, and then another thing that I wanted to mention, but I don't think I have to show you, but um, we have our, we had a lot of requests or comments that um, if you buy the A5 rings, not the A5 wide, but the A5 rings, like true A5, where there's only two columns on the page, um, or no, there's three columns on the page. There's only three columns on the page for the A5. Um, the columns are like more spaced out and it was, I guess, a little awkward for planning. So those have been moved together. Those columns have been moved closer together so the spacing is smaller. You can see it in the listing, but it has been updated for the monthly plus weekly and also um, the weekly, um, obviously. So um, yeah, that is that but I don't have to show you I'm sorry um, let's go ahead and get started here I'm going to actually show the July monthly first or July collection first and then I will show you the second kit that we have this week and then the foil I feel like the foil goes with both kits but it goes better with our other kit this week which is called Hawaii um, and our foil this week is tropical so I think you can assume why it's better <laughs> it goes better with that but I still think since this is like an ocean kit most kits go really well with tropical ocean kits go well with tropical so it still works um so yeah uh so first let's do this July collection just as an overview we have the monthly the weekly and the decorative we also have a pet tape y'all liked the June um, which is good because I ordered June and July tape at the same time um, and I already ordered like a couple weeks ago I ordered the August and September so we are cruising with the designing just want to make sure that we have everything um, no hiccups especially since we make everything ourselves including the planners except for things like you know like tapes and pens and stuff like that so when it's something like a tape we always have to make sure that we order with enough time in advance so that it's if there's any issues or delays that we still get it on time so just some fun business things but let's get started with the monthly I am not going to lie I think this is one of my favorite collections that I've ever designed like ever ever and that's really saying a lot I saw this art and I was actually kind of late designing this kit from like when I had like I make like a little schedule of when I want to design like what each week. So I was a little late on designing this one and I was feeling a little stressed out. And then I saw this art, I've seen this art before, specifically this scene here on the full box, which I'm giving it away already a little bit, but whatever. I had seen that scene before and the art like is very sea creature -y and I didn't want all the boxes to look like you're just in the ocean. But like I kind of did at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I just didn't want all the boxes to look the same. You know what I mean? And like finding florals that would like match these kind of oceany colors without it being like too blue. Like I didn't want just like a completely blue kit. Like you think ocean blue, but um, 
you know, I was really seeing all these corals and stuff like that where it's all these different colors and the fish are all these different colors and I really wanted to incorporate that in here. So this kit is one of my all-time favorite kits. I'm so excited for this kit. I really hope that you guys like this kit as much as I do. Um, I don't know why I'm getting emotional over this. I literally designed this like two or three months ago. So I'm kind of just like over it right now. Normally I'd be over it, but right now I'm just like basking in its beauty. Um, so these florals are actually super, super, super recolored to match this kit really well. It took me forever to make these florals match, but I think like the shape and the style that they were done matched the kit so well. And I got the oranges and the blues to pop to really go with the kit with all these like, I don't know, like the the sea plants, ocean plants, that it's really, it really came out beautiful. I am just going to brag and pat myself on the shoulder for that. Um, if you don't like this kit, I'm sorry, um, but I love her. Anyway, now that I'm like done talking about that, I'm literally getting emotional over a kit that I designed. Um, July, we have a little whale here with some foiled bubbles and you have your florals. Here we have like some fish just like in the background kind of. Ollie has a lot to say about this kit apparently. Um, in the background, this really gorgeous freaking fish. She is so pretty. And I like hand drew the foil on her so you have little foiled scales giving me rainbow, rainbow fish vibes. Um, I freaking loved that book specifically because like this scales, like the actual book itself had like the foil in it. Oh, so pretty. So this is really giving me rainbow fish vibes. And then some of the like tail is foiled as well. Tell me that's not beautiful. And then we have over here the like coral and stuff, all the different colors. I hand drew some of the foil here on some of the seaweed. Um, and then use some other pieces as well um, and then of course your foiled florals let's finally move on from that first page here is the second page you have your floral as usual your 1 through 31 you can see the colors here that I picked um, this was very hard but I really wanted to have like a diverse color palette for this versus just like four shades of blue so we have a dark blue we have like a greenish blue like teal color and orange and a light blue so pretty and then here at the sidebar um this is the decorative sidebar and then we have the um the checklist sidebar which the checklist you can see in the listing but it's mostly just like um like these florals but they background and then the four different color kits with like you know what i mean um here's the lace boxes, the watercolor boxes, torn paper. Look at this sidebar. I actually designed the full box before I designed this sidebar. It's kind of like um, a toss-up how I normally design it. I never do it the same way every single time. Um, so sometimes I'll design the sidebar and then try to like compress it down into full box size and sometimes I'll take a full box and try to expand it out into a sidebar size. So this I actually designed the full box first but I really like the way that the sidebar came out. I'm going to stop wiggling the foil so you can actually see the foil amounts here. So with this I really liked the creatures so I really 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 wanted to do um, kind of almost look like an educational poster. Um, so here you have your butterfly fish if this is wrong I'm sorry it was really hard to find the name of this particular fish um and I talked to like Regina and Jessica and we all agreed that we think that's what this fish is so um yeah so we have these fish here and then you have the octopus so you have the word there you have manta ray and then the clownfish So beautiful. I love her. Gosh, I love her so much. Um, and then, as if I didn't love her enough, I have my um, full boxes here. So here are the full boxes of the weekly kit. We have that same scene with that foiled fish and the foiled seaweed. Some florals. This is a really fun box. It's not quite florals, but it's not quite clip art either. It's just kind of like a pattern with some foiled bubbles and seashells and a seahorse and then some other like sea items. Just a fun box. Here's that um, like educational poster style box that I was talking about before. So pretty. 
Um, here is the quote box. The quote says, as wild as the ocean, as free as the sea. Florals, florals, this really gorgeous scene that is what made me want to do this art in the first place. You have the bubbles and some coral and seaweed and this really pretty jellyfish. And then that same little whale from before. Little, not little, but you know what I mean. Here is the boxes page where you can see the color palette that I mentioned before. The functional, just a simple dotted header, kind of like playing on the idea of the bubbles that I have foiled throughout here. Here is the bottom washi. Again, only has a lot to say. We have the florals and then we have the dotted thin washi that matches the headers. We have the thin headers and then the lace washi and then we have the, the blues match. You have your date covers which is like that teal color and then of course the small sample of clip art. So we have a bunch of sea creatures and then that really pretty rock from that full box and then a seaweed. I hope you like sea creatures because they're featured a lot in this, um, especially on the deco. So we have a dotted washi and dotted divider here. Um, literally big bubbles, smaller little bubble decos. This is like more like dotted bubbles, but then we have like some true bubbles as well. Um, had to put some jellyfish on there. And then here's just like a ton of sea creatures. So you have like octopus, a squid, a dolphin, a butterfly fish, a shell, a turtle, crab, stuff like that. So really cute. I love this add-on. Um, I don't know how many kits you'll be able to use that add-on with other than my kit. Um, I mean, obviously other people can do ocean kits as well, but I haven't seen a ton of them, but just a fun add-on. Here is the deco add-on. Um, again, the florals and then just a bunch of sea creatures. So that fish, clownfish, manta ray, Two of those butterfly fish. Don't ask me what the name of that fish is. Don't know. Not this one either. This one's creepy. Um, like, it's not like creepy like in the clip art, but like when you see it in person at the aquarium, it's a little creepy to me. Octopus, whale, and then a seahorse. Gosh, took me a second. Here is the journal add-on. She's stunning. Really happy with this color palette. This floral deco page is jam-packed for you. And then the alcohol ink swatch, which as usual, showing it on white, but most people opt to get that in transparent. Um, let me show you the pet tape next, just because I want to, um, so I'm going to. So here is your tape. Um, I already opened it and cut a strip, but I'm gonna show you in a second where it's easier to see, but just so you can see here, this is how it comes off the roll. If you're not familiar with our last one, um, it is a really similar style to June and also to our subscription. Let me know if you like this style of pet tape. If you don't like this style, what do you wanna see instead? I'm not necessarily saying that I would replace this one, but maybe I could offer like two pet tapes styles for a monthly, I don't know. Um, but anyway, these have a white, like not completely white backing on them, but um, they have a little bit of white on the back so that um, they're like opaque when you put them down in your planner. And they do have a backing. Um, just to let you know, I've had some people ask me if the shapes are cut, they're not. So this is just a full on like giant piece of tape with decorative pieces on it. I really try to design the tapes in a way where this, I feel like this looks pretty like all by itself, like as like a little collage almost. I feel like that's really pretty. My opinion, obviously, um, you, could, you might have a different opinion. Um, so yeah, but if you want to, you can use scissors to cut them out or most people use an X-Acto knife to cut out around it and just use it as a sticker. This is a matte finish tape. So I feel like if your cutting isn't perfect, it still looks good when you put it down on paper because it's more obvious where your cuts are when it's glossy, especially when you're putting it on regular planner paper, but with the matte, I feel like it's less obvious. So here is a full loop, I guess. A lot of people call them loops, but um, here it is. 
I feel like this is a really fun tape to get even if you don't particularly want the kit just because the array of sea creatures and like sea elements just makes it really pretty so if your whale here the fish some florals of course seaweed more fish some little swatches the seahorse the octopus more fish um we just have like some watery elements to the manta ray and then this is like this scene from right here it's like I just went ahead and blew it up so you have a ton of little elements in there more florals and then more stuff here as well and that really pretty and then I filled in a lot of space with those little bubbles so this like I said collection hands down one of my favorites favorite pet tape I've designed um which I haven't designed many so I guess it's not really saying much but I think this is my favorite monthly I've designed so far and this is like top three weeklies that I've designed so um yeah so let me know I know some people like don't want to fold tape of like all the same things and I know some people sell like just this little repeat loop like just one individual loop of it because people don't need like a whole like roll of this over and over sometimes um but I'm not really sure how to ship this because it's longer than a sheet of paper and like rolling it up just would take too much labor um and I don't know how to do that consistently so the only thing that I can think of is like I'm just gonna be criminal the only thing I can think of is like cutting it there where the swatches are and then taking this because this I think is shorter than a kit please be shorter than a kit it's not shorter than a kit but I think I could find a cello for this if it's cut like that and do it that way I don't know um I know a lot of people offer that but I just don't know that we could um so yeah or unless you're like okay with me like folding in half I'm not sure if this material even folds Oh, it would fold so if you were like okay with us folding it not necessarily there but like somewhere where the art isn't or maybe I could keep the art design in mind so that we could fold it I don't know let me know what you think um just I do know that like cutting it and rolling it up and tying it not going to be feasible for us um so I'd prefer that you don't suggest that um but let's do the decorative because this kit this video is already so long and I barely even showed a planner so Let's just flip through this real quick. Showing it in white, available and transparent and washy as well. Um, so here's the first page. We have flowers. We have the edges. The bouquets. The corner. So you get the two corners and then some extra bouquets here in the middle so we don't waste space. Here's the borders. The dates and dots. The days, paper strips, box swatches. I had someone ask if we could like foil some of our kit and I feel like if I foiled it I would maybe foil box swatches. That's all I can really think of is foiling box swatches maybe foil the dates and dots. Um, yeah. But if we did do foil, I wouldn't be able to, it would have to only be foiled. I, it would be too much for us to keep up with the foil sheet versus not foil sheet. So, but then it would also like increase price. So I'm going to play around and see what I can do with that. Um, here's the deco. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Washi swatches and then mini swatches. So let me know what you think down below. I've gotten that request quite a bit. I really want to do it. I'm just really trying to brainstorm what would make the foil worth it just because I know that it would like increase price. So I don't want to like do something not intentional just to raise the price. You know what I mean? Um, or just to have foil, which would in turn raise the price. So anyway, that was the July collection. Let's move on to Hawaii. This doesn't necessarily need to be used in Hawaii. This could be used, I could see this being used in, um, gosh, what's it called? I'm completely blanking now. I don't want to be wrong either. 
I want to say like some of those like tropical like Southeast Asia countries. Um, be really pretty there. Like, oh, you could use this in like Bali even. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, anyway, any tropical vacation, I feel like this could work. The only thing that is like really screaming Hawaii to me, and again, this is because I'm not familiar with a lot of tropical destinations, it's this what appears to be a volcano in the background. I'm not sure how many other places have volcanoes. I really feel like this is showing like how dumb I am, even though I'm not that dumb, but still, it's fine. I've never even been to Hawaii either, so. Here's an outfit flat lay. Here's some florals. Florals are popping on this one. It's different. Um, normally we trace them. This one, the individual florals are like foiled, like floral shapes. Here you have a little hanging lantern with a palm leaf and a flower on it. Here's another kind of like florally box, but it has a pineapple, more florals and leaves. The quote says, I believe in the ocean curing all bad moods, which a lot of these quotes, I do not come up with these myself after designing and everything. I'm too tired to come up with a quote, which the ocean can cure bad moods, but I feel like sometimes it can also like make a bad mood too. <laughs> um, being sunburned and stuff like that. So depends. But for me personally, going to the ocean would probably put me in a good mood. So florals. Here's a little scene here with a foiled palm tree. Um, more florals. And then this little kind of like like shopping center, not like shopping center, but like downtown, like more city-ish vibes, like in the land um, with a surfer board and a palm tree. I've never gone surfing before. I kind of want to, but I know that I'd be terrible at it. So maybe not. I'm not sure if I want to pay to embarrass myself. Um, here we have the boxes. Here you can see we have a darker green, a lighter green, a like yellowy peachy orange color, and then a really pretty pink. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is in champagne gold foil. Um, in case you can't tell. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention here. So here are the headers, which kind of have like the like floral necklace pattern. Um, kind of like a lay almost. Um, also, I know that me saying Hawaii like this is not the 100% correct way to pronounce it. Um, but I feel like if I try to pronounce it 100% correctly, it's gonna be even more wrong than the way that I'm saying it. And I just wanna save myself that embarrassment. So um, here is that um, same pattern there. The foiled washi, the headers, not headers, day covers, and then some deco. Here is the little add-on. We have that same pattern here in the washi and dividers. You have a ton of little like hibiscus flowers there. Lots of palm leaves, some palm trees, and then these little like tropical corners and stuff. Here's the deco add-on. You have two girls here and some really pretty dresses. A little scene here, another scene here lantern, a drink, pineapple, palm trees, and some flip-flops. Here is the journal add-on. Still mad about this, by the way. Um, and then we have the floral deco, which is actually some pineapples in these florals. And then here's the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So that is everything for the kits. Let's flip through this foil real quick because we're already almost at 30 minutes. I think my camera cuts off at 30 minutes. Maybe I should just end the video here and just start back over so I'm not cut off in the middle. All right, one second. All right, like I said, one second. Probably actually two, but here we have the foil. So first, this is tropical floral, tropical floral, tropical foil collection. Um, like I said, as with all of our new releases, like every single week, these are an additional 10% off, so this week only, so um, normally we put new releases up on Tuesday, but we're obviously today's Friday, so we're putting them up on Friday, and this discount will only be available through Sunday, um, so you 
sorry, you get a little bit less time. Um, same thing with the planners, that buy a planner, get a kit free thing. That ends on Sunday as well. So make sure you keep that in mind. I'm not extending it. I do plan on doing new releases next week on Tuesday. Um, so do keep that in mind. I don't know. Um, like Bill asked me if I wanted to do new releases on Friday now because we don't do Taylor Tuesday anymore. So I'm not really tied to a Tuesday release date. But the way that we have production set up and people's schedules, it just makes sense to make it Tuesday. But if you guys really prefer Friday, then we can look at moving it around. But we're going to be back to Tuesday next week is all I know for now. Um, so anyway, let's get into this foil. We have the Tropical Florals. Um, I do want to mention that... Um, The, I was trying to do math just now and got distracted by a comment. Um, that's the one left on Instagram, but the, these floral, these foil sheets are, um, discounted the 10% and if you use a PR code on top of it, that's another 20% off, which makes the sheet 284, um, which is 84 cents more than a $2 Tuesday, but this is double the size of a $2 Tuesday. So it ends up being a better deal. Um, so yeah. Now here we have tropical florals. I don't know if I said that already. I can't stop talking today. Um, but yeah, showing it in gold, but it's available in all foil colors. Here we have tropical flowers. You have some like silhouettes. You have some like plain looking ones and then ones with the, I don't know what that thing is that sticks out of the center, like the little, it's not the stem, but that's fine. Here we have some tropical leaves, not necessarily like palm tree leaves, but just an assortment of different tropical leaves. I notice a lot of these leaves based on the plants that I have at home. So now we have some single palm trees. I think previously we had released some palm trees, but they're like little clusters. So these are just some individual, hello, some individual palm tree um, like deco. So different heights and their silhouettes too. So it's really fun for foil. Um, here we have some actual palm leaves. We have some flamingos, which Hardcore tropical vibes. I don't know why my stomach's growling when I just ate. Um, and then we have tropical dividers. So we have that same little pattern from the headers slash washi that we just did. This is more of like a leafy pattern. And then this is more of like um, a floral pattern. So you get a mixture of them on this sheet, but they all go really well together. Um, and then we have the tropical washi, which matches that divider sheet that I just showed you. So now we are finally at the end <laughs> so just to recap um new releases additional 10 percent off through sunday we have the foil tropical foil collection we have the hawaii kit we have the july decorative bundle or kit you can buy it individually we have this July matching pet tape that I've absolutely butchered, but it's there. We have the July weekly. And then last but not least, we have the July monthly. So those are all the stickers. These are what is an additional 10% off this week. And then of course, the July start planner. Like I mentioned, talked about the whole beginning of the video. The planners are not an additional 10% off. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're not an additional 10% off like all the new releases are. They are just part of that buy a planner, get a kit free deal. And you can also, um, when it's buy a planner, get a kit free, it's the weekly kit. The weekly kit costs more than the monthly kit. So I just wanted to make it that way just because I think um, Shopify by default makes the free kit the cheaper one so I didn't want to make it where if you got the monthly and the weekly then um you got the monthly for free but you were paying full price for the weekly um so I just did it that way um but yeah it can be any kit it doesn't have to be this July kit that I um showed you here or that I show in like the social media post either so 
yeah, I think that is everything. I'm so sorry that this video is like 5 million years long. My Instagram post today was also a million years long as well. Um, I just want to give you guys all the details. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Again, if you could give me some feedback on that pet tape situation, would be great. Same with the decorative kit foil situation would also be great. Um, and yeah, that is everything. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll talk to you guys in a few days because we will be back on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.